Hey guys, and welcome back. It's Tiny Cute Bug here, and welcome to the first part of my furring video for your Stompy Feet Digigrade Bugs. So, at this part, you should have your Stompy Feet all furred, you should have all your foam and everything ready, you should have your fur. Um, if you don't have your fur, and you have your foot furred, you should get that checked out. That's very strange. So, um, I'm not going to have a lot to say about this video, um, simply because this is one of those videos where I just do the same thing that I've been doing. Um, I line the fur up with the foam where it's supposed to go, and then I cut it out as needed while pinning, and then I sew it all together while it's pinned. Um, I was going to not do this video, but I know that a lot of people just kind of sit there and they're like, Hey, do this all over and it doesn't really help. I know this because the videos that I watched to learn did this. And now my video is not freaking playing because fuck you Adobe Premiere. So I'm not going to have a whole lot to say simply because my video editing system is being really stupid and there's not a lot to tell. So like with the rest of your um, pieces, it's really important to know which direction that your fur is going in. Notice all of my fur goes down towards the ankle, towards the foot. Um, you really want to keep up with this. This is very important, especially for... Um, legs with really long fur because reason being um, if you have feathering on the bottom like Jujubug will have it's gonna look really weird if you have two directions of fur pressing into each other which is going to be really strange looking which is not okay now I'm putting it on and trying it on with my stompy foot just to show you that the lip of the fur is going to go over the top of the stompy foot so that it hides the seam this is going to be the same on the other leg. So that's me showing you um, how it's going to look when the fur goes on top of it. Here is my two completed, well, pinned, they're not sewed, legs. So now I'm going to sew. Now I recorded this um, so that you guys could see uh, the process. It's a very, very long process. You need to be patient with this. And I do break the string a couple of times, actually, and this was a process that went over um, a week and a half, as you guys may have noticed. Um, oh, look! I went all the way up and didn't record it. I am such a jerk. So, um, I just did the thing that I said that I wasn't going to do. What I did was I made the rings of fur. If you use all one color, you only need, like, two rings of fur one for the bottom half and one for the top half um, split at the knee or what you can do is split it vertically and wrap it around your leg um, additionally you can you can split this fur any any way shape or form that you want depending on the complexity of your pattern I would not recommend um, I would recommend using four pieces of fur if you're going to do stripes like mine or the amount of stripes that you need um, for your character, whatever fits best. So, I did the thing and I went all the way up. I said, basically, just do the thing all the way up. I am such a jerk. I'm sorry. And it pauses again. Jerk. So yeah, um, I'm using red string here because I really wanted to show you guys that no matter what string the color that you use, if you're using the ladder stitch like I am, um, you cannot see the stitch. It is completely invisible. So you use the ladder stitch and then it's very important to brush it out after and pull all the fur from between the seams. And it's really tempting to um, want to skip stitches and um, make them really wide, but the smaller stitches you use, the tighter the seam will be, the stronger it will be. So you can see um, the, the seam there going from a solid line to a fluffy convergence of fur. Right there, that is the seam right there, and you can't tell that there is red string underneath. Bright red string underneath white fur. That is why you should use the stitch. Yes, it's a pain in the butt. Yes, the string breaks a lot, but it's worth it. So now I have my duct tape dummy and I'm going to put the legs on there for um, making the uh, upper part, the, well, crotch of your pants. 
So all the legs are all sewn on, everything's all done. Look! Yay! Now I have short hair! Which is really weird because I went from having long hair at the beginning of this video to having short hair. So... yeah. That's a thing. I am currently searching for a YouTube video to watch while I do this. Look at that! My legs are so cute! They're so cute! But um, yeah. This is going to, this is the reason that we do the duct tape dummy, we don't just do it on ourselves, because this, the duct tape dummy is going to give you the perfect fit. It really, really is. This is very important. Camera adjustments. Um, so now that you have that on there, it kind of looks like bell-bottom pants, to be honest. This is like the 60s on mega cocaine. Oh well. What are you going to do? Meh. So the first part that you're going to do is you're going to cut out a um, rectangle. That's going to be the crotch of your pants. This is very important. You want to make this way too big and baggy. If you're making a really form-fitted fursuit, don't make a really form-fitted fursuit. That's just a bad idea. Um, you want to make this as baggy as possible without it being, like, gross. So the reason for that is going to be... Um, when you bend down, you're going to want to squat to, to because children are going to want to see your face. Um, you're going to want as much movement as, you're, as possible. And I actually only sewed the shorter ends on the front and the back. I did not sew um, the two sides to the legs at all. And I did this because that not only is it great ventilation because, you know, fursuits, um, and I'm going to add some mesh later on, like some some um, workout mesh that you get in vents of workout shirts. And uh, that'll help, you know, cover up the hole for, you know, when I'm wearing, like, bright orange pants underneath my fursuit or something, if that ever happens. Um, once again, pile of fur. Very important. Towards the bottom. Towards the bottom. Um, pinning it all in place same process over and over and over again and it's all about repetition so now I'm following the seam um, I follow the seam that your hips naturally make um, with my fursuit because I add a lot of extra fur at the top of the legs and I add a lot of extra fur at the top of the waist that way I can make sure that everything is covered my fursuit will be seamless now this is a mistake that I've made on my other fursuits um, I didn't do that and it was a bad time. Didn't look good. You could see my shirt underneath. It's a bad idea. Trust me. Bad. Don't do it. Extra fur. Buy extra fur. Buy so much extra fur. All of the fur. Please. 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 Actually, at the end of this video, I will have a um, short blip of uh, me wiggling around in my suit. Gross. Now I did not record myself sewing all of this because it is such a pain in the butt, I don't think. Did I? Maybe. We'll find out in a minute. And nope, I did record me sewing. I think I only recorded a little bit of me sewing because it takes so long. It takes so much time. Once again, using the red fur, the red string, my bad. My video keeps pausing, I'm gonna throw my computer out the window. That's great. Yeah, there we go. And look, it looks like legs already. It's not even done and it looks like legs. So yeah, a ladder stitch. And here we are. This is our final product. Um, here's me spinning around. You can see that it is degraded looking. Um, I do trim the fur on the bottom down a little bit so it's a little cleaner. All of your seams are nice and done, but... Um, so these pants give you full range of movement, you can wiggle your legs, you can squat down. Look at that, I timed it perfectly. And uh, wiggle around if you want. So thank you guys so much for watching, and have fun making your stoppy feet. Post some pics below in the comments, and 
Yeah. Let me know how you do. Thank you guys so much for watching.